In most of my Animal Crossing videos, several people ask me where and how I've gotten all my items, like the furniture pieces, DIY recipes, seasonal items, and even the crazy amount of bells that you need to upgrade your house. Now the short answer is I trade with people online, mainly through Discord servers. And the long answer, where I explain how it works, how easy it is, how much fun it can be, and how you can get literally anything that you want, is the rest of this video. So if that doesn't sell you on watching, I don't know what will. The main ways of getting any type of furniture items in New Horizons is by checking out the shops once a day, popping balloons, shaking trees, and giving and receiving gifts from your residents. Of course, all this is completely random, so you never know what you're actually going to get. And most people are totally fine playing like this. I mean, it is how the game was designed after all, but I'm not one of them, okay? I want everything right now. So I can start decorating and just making, you know, make it all look the way that I want it to look. And that is where online trading comes in. Now, one of the beautiful things about New Horizons is that it has attracted a lot of people who do not play video games. Like, my wife is not a gamer in any way, but she now has her own Switch and has played this game every day for three months. And I see a lot of people joining Discord saying that they have no idea how to use it or what it is or how to find anything. So I'm making this video to go over that whole side of the game for people who are interested in online trading but don't really know how to navigate it. So online trading for me is so much fun. It's like a game within the game. It's like Animal Crossing metagaming when it comes to collecting items, gathering resources, getting bells, and not to mention that you're actually connecting with people instead of playing the game all by your lonesome. Now there are a lot of different Facebook groups and other sites that you can use for trading, but I prefer using Discord. Discord is basically a chat application that is available on any computer or mobile device and is mainly geared towards video gaming. So once you create an account, you can click on any invite link to join a server. I'll use mine just as an example, and definitely not for the free advertising. So after I click accept invite, I am redirected to Discord and now see my server in the list. Now each server has a similar design where you see categories and channels, each having a particular purpose. So in mine, for example, I have an Animal Crossing category where it has all these channels. Like one of them is a trading post that, you know, people can trade. Another is an island showcase where you can show off your island. And another one is just like an Animal Crossing general chat. So you can join as many servers as you like, but for trading, I use my server, the main Animal Crossing New Horizons server, and the Nookazon server. I will have invite links to all these in the video description. So all you have to do is click on them, sign up for Discord if you haven't already, and accept the invite. And you will see them in the list just like I have them here. So the two Animal Crossing servers are set up pretty much the same way. If you're looking to trade, they both have categories for that. But I'm going to use Nookazon as the main example since that's the one that I use the most. So it's pretty straightforward. If you're looking for a certain piece of furniture, all you have to do is go to the furniture trade channel and post what you're looking for. Nine times out of ten, you will have at least one person message you looking to trade. Or, you know, if you see something you like that someone's trading, all you have to do is click on the person's name to send them a direct message. And this goes for anything. They literally have a channel for whatever you're looking for. Art, clothing, recipes, materials, plants, fruits, songs, you name it. Dude, people even buy and sell residents that are moving out of their islands, which seems pretty messed up, you know? It doesn't sound like Animal Crossing, it sounds like animal something else. Now, if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, Nookazon actually has a website that you can go to. It's just nookazon.com. You get it? Cause, because Amazon.com? Nah, you get it, you get it. But from here, you can search for anything that you want. So let's just say you're looking for a sofa because for some reason, those are one of the hardest things to come by in the game. Like seriously, a month into playing and I did a lot of time traveling, I still had not found one sofa, but I found like, what, eight metronomes? What the hell's that about? Like who needs that many metronomes? So if we go up to the search bar and type in sofa, it will show you every single type of sofa available in the game. And if you click on one, you will see all the available listings. So let's just say I want this blue sofa, which is true, I, I do want this blue sofa. I can click on any of these listings and make an offer through the site, or just click on the person's name and add them as a friend on Discord and just wait for them to respond. I don't usually do it this way though, because I'm impatient, you know, and it just takes a while. You know, what if the person's not around? Well, I gotta wait? No. So what I do is find what I want, take a screenshot of it, and post a message in the appropriate channel asking very politely if anyone has one for sale. Which again, usually someone will message you back pretty quickly because there's a lot of people in here. I mean, look at it, it never stops. This is always going. 
Now something else to keep in mind when it comes to trading, Nook Mile tickets is a form of currency. Yeah, I know, it's weird, but it is. Most people when offering to trade are looking for Nook Mile tickets instead of bells. And people even buy these outright, like as of this video, they're in pretty high demand, so if you need some quick bells or are even just feeling a little lonely in life, just in general, try selling some Nook Mile tickets because you'll become very popular very quickly. But yeah, this is how I get the majority of stuff in the game, even if it's just materials. You know, if I need like a bunch of wood for crafting or something, instead of beating the shit out out of my trees, I'll just post in Discord, send someone a dodo code, and have a few stacks in just a couple of minutes. I know this might not be for everyone, but what I really love about it is how interactive it is and how friendly most people are. You know, this game can get very monotonous, so this adds some variation to it and a sense of community seeing all these people playing and wanting to connect. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any. But thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.